Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. So you have probably seen my previous videos using the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X with my 55 inch Sony X900 HTV, which looks great. But I thought of going big and connected the consoles to my Bava Ultra Short to Laser Projector and my God, it looks fantastic. So in this video, I'm going to show you some gameplay and pros and cons when gaming with this projector. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's do this! Okay, so the first thing to notice is the size. Now going from 55 inch to 103 inch is insane. Here's a Sony X900H next to the projector just for reference. Now the advantage of going for a projector instead of a TV obviously is the picture size. In my opinion, if you want to go bigger than 80 inches or above, just go for a projector. Now another thing I need to mention is that I'm using a CLR screen or ceiling light rejecting screen by Akia. Now this screen is designed for this type of projectors. It absorbs around 90% of ambient light, so the picture looks great under some ambient light or even during daylight. Now the screen also includes an LED kit to reduce eye stray and light plate from the projector. Now this is very useful and I think it also looks great. Now a huge advantage of using an ultra short to laser projector is that you don't need a big space. As you can see the projector is sitting right below the screen. It's only about 10 and a half inches away from the wall to produce a 103 inch picture. So it doesn't take much space. Now this works perfect in my case because, because I have a small room. Now in case if you're wondering the distance I'm sitting, I'm around 8 feet away from the screen and I have no issues, it looks perfect. Now keep in mind that this projector is limited to HDMI 2.0, so no 4K 120Hz, no variable refresh rate or auto low game latency features available. Alright, so how is the gameplay? Well first of all, it's a lot of fun, picture looks fantastic, the projector produces a 4K resolution via pixel shifting at 60Hz of refresh rate. So the image looks sharp and games run smooth. Now the biggest disadvantage is the high input lag. It's around 90 milliseconds of input lag, so I don't recommend using this for multiplayer games. Now this works great with single player games and luckily there are plenty of great games available. God of War is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation. It just received a 4K60 upgrade mode and it runs very smooth and it looks amazing. The game looks very colorful and bright, so HDR stands out and that's great, I like that. Now Black Devils are also good, but this also depends a lot on the screen that you're using. Also the game has some epic bosses and fights, so everything looks more immersive and cinematic with this screen. Another great game is Ghost of Tsushima. Now, this is another colorful game with beautiful landscapes. It also received an upgrade so it runs very smooth. HDR also stands out making sunsets and environment much more enjoyable. The screen is so big you can almost feel that like you're inside the game, it's just an amazing experience. Wanna feel like flying? Playing Spider-Man Miles Morales is the way to go. Swinging through the buildings feels that you are part of the game. The experience is just on another level. This game also has ray tracing and performance mode upgrades so it runs smooth and very colorful. Sometimes I feel the colors are a little bit oversaturated but you can easily make adjustments in the picture settings to your own liking. Now 
Now Forza Horizon 4 is one of my favorite games. This is an Xbox exclusive and is probably one of the best racing games available. 4K and HDR stands out, colors look vibrant and picture looks sharp. Even during daylight, dark scenes still look good. But of course, just like any other projector, it is recommended to have a dark room to enjoy the best picture. Now here is Cyberpunk 2077, another colorful game that I actually enjoy besides having some issues. Now personally the game is fun and it runs great on next gen consoles, in this case the Xbox Series X. Now another thing I wanted to mention is that even at an angle the picture still looks stunning. This screen has a 170 degree viewing angle so this is great for a large room. I also enjoy playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla and look at this picture, it looks amazing. Once again, these games are totally playable with this projector, I don't feel any input lag issue, as long as you don't play multiplayer games, you're good. So yes, if you want to go bigger than 80 inches, I suggest a projector. TVs look great and all, but have you ever tried moving an 80 inch TV around your house by yourself? How about a 150 inch TV? <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the biggest advantage of a projector, that you can pretty much place it anywhere around your house or maybe an outside patio that you have or maybe you want to take it at a friend's house and enjoy a game or a boxing match. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Now for gaming, this BABA projector is good, but the input lag is horrible for competitive gaming, so I will be reviewing a 4K gaming projector by BenQ soon, that's the TK700 STI, so stay tuned for that video. Alright guys, so that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching until the end, and just so I know that you did, leave a comment below, let me know how do you prefer to play your games on a monitor or a TV or a projector? I promise to leave a like to your comment. All right, I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out. Oh hey guys, Joster here, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content and you would like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe, and also you, you can become a member, just hit that join button, you get access to some of the emojis that I created, and also you get early access to some of my videos, in the aftermath of the live stream that I do, but mostly just want to support this channel hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joster out.